Rock Band is finally here and a lot of fans have gotten what they've been waiting for. But with a hefty price tag of $169.99, is it worth your money to start up a band of your own? Or should you keep practicing your Guitar Hero skills? Games like Rock Band and Guitar Hero have never really been about the graphics. It's all about the gameplay and the music. If you get a large enough group of people together to play Rock Band, you're barely going to be able to see any of the action going on in the background anyway. Can you feel it? See it? Do it to the day. If you can't, then it doesn't matter anyway. Then you will never understand it happens so fast. And it feels so good, like it's walking a glass. It is pretty cool to have a group of friends playing the game together though. During the single player mode however, you're going to be able to see everything just fine. The characters look great and their animations are fluid. But like I said, Rock Band isn't about the graphics, it's about the gameplay. I want you to Rock Band comes with three instruments total. You get the guitar, which is just a little bit different from the Guitar Hero guitar and may take some getting used to. If you want to play with your Guitar Hero guitar or you need an extra guitar for a bass, you can use your Guitar Hero controller no problem. You just hook it up and it works. Rock Band also includes a microphone for your lead vocalist. To use the microphone, you need to hit the A button on the controller you may take a little while to figure this out. It took me a little bit. And the newest instrument and the largest addition to the game is the drums. They're also my personal favorite. The gameplay is pretty simple. You're given an instrument and you need to hit the pitch if you're singing or notes on the screen as they fly down if you're doing drums, bass, or guitar. It may sound simple, but try playing an even easier song like 29 Fingers by the Kinks on the drums and you'll find it more difficult than it sounds, but it's still a lot of fun. If you find you're having trouble with a song, the game also lets you adjust the speed the song's played at and what section you want to practice so you can get better at your favorites. There's also the option to hop online if you don't have enough band members for a complete band and the response is usually pretty quick. There's also a tug of war option in which you take turns playing portions of a song until somebody has declared the winner and there's also a drum op where you and another player go head to head until somebody has declared the victor. There is one thing I didn't like, you're not able to like have a four player band and play against another four player band. I wasn't able to find this option. If it's in the game, great, but I didn't find it. So if it's there, let me know. Of course, the music in the game is awesome. And once you unlock all the songs, you're gonna have over 50 tracks to choose from. So it's something everyone can enjoy. If you're a rock fan, there's gonna be a sign here for you. Well, this game does have a hefty price tag, but you get quite a bang for your buck. You get three instruments, over 50 songs. It's definitely worth it, especially if you like these types of games. This is a perfect game for a family or college kids who just want to sit around, listen to some good songs, and maybe play along with them. This game gets a 94 out of 100 from me. Check out my page next week for my review of Mass Effect. 